Pembroke is approximately 54 square miles. We have approximately 3,000 residents in inside of Pembroke Township. Uh, we have approximately 500 horses that live <laughs> in Pembroke Township. Pembroke is an agriculture community, but the uh, ironic thing about that is that a lot of the residents don't eat their own food. Uh, the local school, they don't buy from the local farmers. The farmers usually uh, ship their food to the cities. This community was founded on agriculture. We're trying to get them back to the soil to start being responsible for their own diets, not being dependent on outside sources for their diets, their dietary nutrition, but being just learning how to grow again, getting connected with the soil that their grandparents had left for them here. Tonight we have our Sirens Fair Gala for our elementary schools. Our students with the human body, they're relating that to the food quality that they eat. So they're connecting how they eat and how to treat the body good from nutrition all the way through. We're starting a huge reform for our students from the top down. We just purchased a salad bar. Our school has also um, just finished a grant for Farm to School. So we're creating a huge reform of connecting the human body with, every, with their diet and creating better students this way. Food Patriots, it was exciting to see um, an organization that wanted to connect food and body together. And I've seen some of the clips, and just because we're starting a revolution in this community, getting the community, starting with our children, all the way through our adults, to start reconnecting to the land and soil. We have beautiful uh, country and natural fauna here in this community. And just being able to get people, oh, I am responsible for my body. What I put in it matters. Grow your own food, you know where it's coming from you know where your source is coming from. And that's one of the things we want to connect these children to food and the healthier body. Absolutely.